let's say I'm writing a paper and uh, I've written down some introduction but I need a uh, few more uh, some more content so I open up Google Scholar and I type in the topic of the paper that I want to read and I click on that paper that opens up the paper uh, link and then I use the uh, Zotero extension to save the paper to my Zotero uh, account uh, that does that and then I open up Zotero on my uh, laptop and the PDF shows up there then I can read the PDF here right I can highlight and add annotations as I need so let's say if I find some interesting parts of the paper I highlight them with the highlighter and uh, yeah I can add annotations that I want and then I can switch between devices so now I open up Zotero on my iPad and open the same paper that I was reading before on my PC and I uh, open up this paper and I have whatever highlights I had made in the previous device showing up here as well and on this device too I can make annotations and highlights as and when needed uh, depending upon where or when I'm reading it so now I've made these highlights on my iPad I switch back later at some later time to my PC and then when I open up Zotero there I can see that the highlights are here as well so now that I have read this paper now I am ready to add its content to my my paper that I am writing so I need to cite this paper right uh, so when I type cite in overleaf and then uh, let's see what the name of the paper is yeah then I, if I search for the paper that paper automatically shows up in the refer references of my overleaf account and I am able to add that paper here as you see so when I compile it it's going to show up and then the paper is actually uh, linked here and I can cite it as my reference so let us uh, so we need to if you want to have this sort of workflow while you're reading papers and adding them to your latent document you can do this by uh, following these steps the first thing that we need to do is install Zotero on all your devices that you have the personal computer your uh, tablets iPad and then you also need to make sure that you install the Zotero browser extension on the browser that you're using it can be Chrome or Mozilla or any of the others then you need to create a account and you need to log into all your log into Zotero in all your devices so that all your papers are synced and finally you need to link your overleaf account with Zotero so that the references are synced with your overleaf, overleaf account okay so the first thing that you do is install Zotero so you to look, uh, search it and you look it up in Google and click on the link that shows up and then download it for Windows the same thing also works for Linux the process isn't really that different so you download the uh, software and you also install the extension you add it to Chrome okay uh, then you add it here and once it's been downloaded uh, you follow along the instructions to install the software on your computer it's quite simple uh, just a few steps you click, keep on clicking next and next and it finally gets installed a couple of seconds it takes to install it on your system right so if you're done with the installation process that opens up Zotero on your computer and it also opens up a page where you can uh, create an account and then log in so if you first create an account it's preferable that you use your institute email ID for this we do that and we register we have an account right and then what we do next is uh, all on the system uh, the Zotero software and we need to uh, also enter our login details here so that it syncs up with the account that we have created online so for that you need to go to edit and preferences and then sync enter your uh, details login details what you had when you registered for Zotero and then finally you click OK and now your account your uh, your software is now will sync up with the online account of Zotero that you have again the next thing that we need to do is open up overleaf and go to account there you need to go to reference managers and in that there's an option called Zotero integration 
that is where you need to link your account so you click on link and enter your details again you log into Zotero and you accept defaults and that's done your account is linked with Overleaf now that's done um, what we do next is open up a very simple LaTeX document in which all we are doing is referring some paper so we have uh, packages that will enable us to do that so right now we don't have any references file or any BIP file right and we also don't have any paper right here in the Zotero software so let us say I need a paper I'm reading a paper that I need to add to this document that I'm writing so the first thing that we need is a bib file dot bib file which has all the references so what we do is we can create one from Zotero itself and uh, we uh, when we do that a uh, file is created which is linked to my Zotero account but since there are no papers nothing shows up so first we need to uh, re uh, get a paper so we search for a topic and go to that link and then using the extension we add that paper to our library now when we open this Zotero on my PC we'll see that that paper is in fact showing up here it's right here so this PDF is also saved you can do all your reading and your highlighting here and you, you make sure that you refresh that so that everything gets synced up so once that is done you'll see when you refresh this web file that reference is going to show up in this document so now you when you go back to your main document you can add this reference so let us say I'll just write our first paper and then cite uh, using control space you can search for the references in your build file and I search for the one that I have this shows up I click OK and compile and then you see that the paper that you have cited is going to show up here so all this this made all the process quite simple you don't have to go and uh, individually extract the citation data of each paper that you read now all you need to do is look up the paper that you want to read online and use the extension to add that paper to your Zotero account and then when you need to cite it in your uh, latex document that you are writing in Overleaf the paper is going to get uh, synced to your references.bib file so you can just add it directly you don't need to do the manual copying and pasting of uh, citations as you did earlier